Would you like to know if you need to learn to code as an AWS solution architect? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of GoCloud Careers. And we're an organization that's dedicated towards helping you build the most elite cloud computing careers. Personally, I've been working in technology for over 25 years and I've been helping others get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for more than two decades. And I wanna help you build the most elite cloud architect or solution architect career. You know, every single day someone says, Mike, do I need to code as an AWS solutions architect? Or they say, Mike, do I need to code as an Azure solutions architect? And here's the answer, no, architects don't code. Now here's the thing, as a rule, we architects don't configure either. And most cloud architects, most solution architects will never touch the technology. In fact, there's so much confusion over the AWS solutions architect role, the Azure solutions architect role, and the cloud architect role that so many people spend years and years learning and getting certified, and then they can't get that first solution architect job. And we're gonna make sure you know exactly what a solution architect does, exactly what a cloud architect does. And that way, if you wanna work for AWS as an AWS solution architect, or you wanna work for Microsoft as an Azure solution architect, or you wanna work for a bank as a cloud architect working in a multi-cloud environment, you'll know everything you need to do to get hired. Now, most people struggle because they confuse the cloud architect or the AWS solutions architect role with a cloud engineer role. And while these two roles are both tech roles, they're so different, they might as well be in a different universe. In most cases, as a cloud architect, we will never touch the technology. I'm gonna say this again. Most cloud architects will not touch the technology. Most AWS solution architects will not touch the technology. So if, we, if an AWS solution architect doesn't code, what do they do? Well, our role as architects is really about helping our customers be more financially successful. Now, how do we, as an AWS solutions architect, or an Azure solutions architect, or a cloud architect, help our customers be more financially successful? We help our customers by designing a solution that will positively impact their business performance. In fact, they should rename the AWS Solution Architect role with a digital transformation specialist because that's what an AWS Solution Architect does. They help their clients with digital transformation, which is helping their clients improve their business performance with technology. So if we're not coding and if we're not configuring, what are we really doing? Well. Our role revolves around gathering requirements from the customers. So an AWS solution architect will be asking their customer, could you tell me your business goals, your business pain points, their business challenges? And after they ask the executives, they'll ask the management team and they will also ask the ground level engineers as well as the employees that work there. What's going on in your business? Now from there, after the solution architect has gathered all of the business and technical requirements, they can only think about building the team to design the solution. Now, when it comes to designing a solution to improve a customer's business performance, the solution design is fairly complicated because it involves a lot of business, a lot of networking, a lot of data center, a lot of security across a wide range of careers and disciplines. So the cloud architect or the AWS solution architect will need to be building a team to design the solution. And then once the solution is actually designed, what does the AWS solution architect do? They go back to their customer along with the account manager and they help sell the solution to the customer. Now this solution needs to improve the customer's business performance. So if a cloud architect does not code and an AWS solution architect does not code, what are the skills for our career? Well, because we're selling the solution to the customer, we must have sales skills and really strong sales skills. Now, when we interact with the customer and they ask us what we can do for them and we ask them about their business, when we document our solution, we're gonna also put a presentation together and we're gonna build the presentation and present to the client about our solution. So the solution architect, whether it be an AWS solution architect, an Azure solution architect, or a cloud architect working across multiple clouds needs stellar presentation skills. Now, what else do we do as a solution architect or a cloud architect? Well, we have to build the business case to convince the customer to help buy our solution. See, no customer is going to wake up and say, I want to spend a ton of money on cloud stuff. No, we as a solutions architect or a cloud architect need to go back to the customer and show them by investing this million dollars in the solution, we can deliver you $2 million or $3 million of business value. 
And by doing that, we can build what's called a return on investment capital model, which shows our customers why they need our tech. Now, because as an AWS solution architect, an Azure solution architect, or a cloud architect, we're going to be constantly working with customers, internal members, whether they be engineers and architects, as well as management in our organizations and our customer organizations, as an AWS solution architect or a cloud architect or an Azure solution architect, you must be excellent at stakeholder management. Now, because we're gonna be building teams of engineers and architects for system design, and we're also gonna be selling the solutions to our customer, and we have to get the requirements for our customer. Let's face it, nobody hands us a piece of paper and says, build this. As a solution architect, we must have excellent communication skills. Now, lastly, when a customer says, look, I would like to increase our revenues, you need to know what that means. When a customer says we have a supply chain impairment, you need to know what that means. So you need a high level of business acumen or business knowledge for this job. If we're not coding, but we're designing, what kind of tech do we really need to know? Well, the tech that we really need to know is a combination of networking tech, data center tech, and cloud tech. So the first thing that I'll tell you as an AWS solution architect or an Azure solution architect is what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is really nothing more than renting, some, renting space in somebody else's network in a data center. Your whole cloud environment is just rented space in someone else's network in a data center. Now, what does a cloud architect do or what does a solution architect do? They take the things that are in the traditional network and data center and they migrate them to the cloud. So the skills that an AWS solution architect needs are BGP, IP addressing, subnetting, and supernetting. Switching, which means VLANs, VLAN tagging, VLAN trunking, spanning tree, rapid spanning tree, and link aggregation groups. Network address translation, one-to-one -one NAT, NAT, one-to-many NAT, for example, static NAT, dynamic NAT. Now, as an AWS solution architect, we're going to have to build a wide area in network for our customers, connecting to the cloud, for example. And this means knowledge of SSL VPNs, IPsec VPNs, private lines, Ethernet over MPLS, software-defined networking, and SASE type WANs. Now we're gonna be dealing with computing in, in the cloud, and we're gonna be migrating the compute from the data center of the cloud, which means we need to have excellent knowledge on server virtualization and containers and container orchestration. We need good knowledge of load balancers, whether they be application load balancers, network load balancers, or combining load balancers, for example. We need good, strong knowledge of storage area networks, such as block storage, object storage, and file storage. And we need to be very familiar with the business applications that can improve a customer's business performance. Because without these applications, we can't provide any digital transformation. Next thing for an AWS solution architect to know or an Azure solution architect to know or a cloud architect is we're gonna be dealing with security. And in most cases, the cloud native security functions are not good enough. We're gonna need next generation firewalls and understand how to architect them in the solution. We'll be working with intrusion detection, intrusion prevention systems. VPN concentrators, and of course, multi-cloud design because 80% of customers use more than one cloud. And the majority of customers, when you ask them, want to go by more than one cloud. So multi-cloud designs for everything we do. So now I hope I've answered the question, do I need coding skills to become an AWS solutions architect? No, but now you know the critical skills for the cloud architect or the solution architect, and you know exactly what does a cloud architect do. I hope you've enjoyed this video on do I need coding skills to become an AWS solutions architect? If you'd like to get your first AWS Solutions Architect job or your first Cloud Architect job, please join us on the completely free How to Get Your First Cloud Architect Job webinar. The link is in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in another video very soon. Take care and get everybody cloud hired.